Hello, I'm Jack Harper with Gwinnett Newton and Rockdale County Health Department. I work in emergency preparedness and I want to wish you a good day. Now folks, every day won't be a good day. There are days that there are emergencies. There are days that there are disasters. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. These are things that you might need with you if you ever have to leave your home, if you have to evacuate, if you can't get back to your home. These are things that you might need to get you through the emergency and sustain you at least until you can get back home. So today we're going to talk about a grab bag. Now a grab bag is things that you think you need during an emergency. A lot of experts have come up with lists that they think are most important. There's probably 10 or 12. Of course, I've got more than that here today but I'll walk you through what I think are some of the more important items that you ought to have. A weather radio. You know, you, you don't know what kind of power you're gonna have. So this radio runs on battery as well as cranky, and I can find out exactly what's gonna happen. A good first aid kit. You know, you may not need it, but boy, if you do need it, to have that would be wonderful. water. I've got three things of water plus I've got a bottle of water that will go on the outside. These are important things. A Mylar blanket. That's one of these new space age blankets that reflects heat and yet keeps the wind off of you. Um, small denomination money. Folks, if the ATMs are down, all you have is what's in your pocket. And if the denominations are large, you may have to spend more money than you want to get water or other supplies. A change of clothes. Here I've got a pair of pants. I've got a long sleeve shirt. Again, because if this is a tornado or something and I'm having to leave the house, I may be drenched and I would love to be able to change clothes. Completely. Underwear. Socks. Medicine. I take with me what I might need for a couple of days. Hopefully I'll be able to get back home but there's a chance I might not. A waterproof bag with identification. I also have my shot record in here as well as subscription uh, prescriptions in here as well. Now this isn't really healthy food, but it'll keep me going. I've got a protein bar and I've got some hard candy and I've got some gum. That'll be nice. Always, 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 always have you a good flashlight. And, and in fact, what I've got, I've got duct tape on the back of it. You can't live without duct tape, of course. Here's a wonderful item, a thumb drive. Put important information on it that if you can't get back home, your insurance policy number, you can put your marriage certificate on there. I'm retired military. I need something to prove that the VA can support and help me. More food. What would I do without peanut butter? You got to have peanut butter. Toiletries, toothbrush, comb, razor, fork and knife. A tool, a tool is very important. This is a Leatherman and it closes up very small, but it's got screwdrivers and knives and fingernail clippers and God, lots of good things on it. Be sure and take that with you. And I've just about gone over, uh, here's one that I really think is important, is a cell phone charger, extra set of house keys. But now we're getting down to the point of things that I like to take, but wouldn't have to take. Well, what I've done with my bag, I made a list of everything that I have in here and those things that might expire because of dates. But this is a fairly long list, but that way I can look at it and see what am I missing? You know, first aid kit, hard hat, whistle. I ah, didn't even mention the whistle. That's one of the most important things. Your voice will run out long before your whistle will stop. Thermal blanket, poncho. I have a soft hat. I got water pouches, long sleeve shirt, pants, change of underwear, sunglasses, readers, uh, batteries, five different kinds, extension cords, cell phone charger, weather radio, leather man tool extra house car keys, a sewing kit, peanut butter, and utensils, toiletry, bug repellent, sunscreen, energy bar, 
prescription inflammation, immunization, thumb drive, small cash, and gloves. I keep that so I don't have to open this thing up and get everything out every time I'm wondering, do I have that with me? I've got it here. These other items are things that I thought that I might need. Your list should probably be different for you and your family. Now, I'm speaking, this is your bag. You set it up the way you want. It's not your spouse or your children's bag. This is your bag. They need to have one too. So in case you're told, evacuate, there's a gas leak. All you have to do is pick it up and run. If you have pets and they're gonna evacuate with you, you need some kind of bag or container food and water for them. Because if not, your food and water becomes their food and water. So this is very important. Now I keep my bag in the location in my house that I call my shelter in place. In case of tornado, that's where we're all running to. Because this bag will complement what's in that shelter in place location. Pillows and blankets and uh, tuna fish and a can opener, more batteries. Uh, I've got a solar charger for my cell phone. I keep my ham radio down there, keep it charged up. So this complements what I have there. Now, I hope you understand that everybody's bag is different. And yes, that may seem kind of expensive, all these things. But if you slowly start working now and, and packing a bag and thinking about what would I do if this happened to me, you'll end up having a good day. And I thank you for listening to me. Well, I've got it all back in and I'm ready. And if there's a, a severe winter weather warning going on, I may just throw this in my car before I head out in the morning because I, there could be a chance I not get back home. But again, this is your bag and what you think you would need. There are a lot of experts like FEMA. They come out with lists on things that they think are important. Use it as a basis and start. But the main thing is get started. Take care of your, yourself and your family. Have a great day.